Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today's topic is don't ever let somebody tell you it's impossible. There are people in the world, and it seems like all they live for is to come up with reasons you can't do something. Uh, this can be a, at school or work or among your friends, any group of people you work with, but it happens a lot at places where people work uh, because there's always that one person um, that is always going to say, well, we can't do this because of that, but, or what about this? Uh, in, in, you have to take that with a grain of salt when you identify the person who's kind of negative and trying to stop everything. They may actually have some good points, and you should consider those if you think it's a, a good point. But also remember, everything has a positive to it, everything has a negative. You need to be aware of the negative so that you can find ways to reduce their impact or to totally negate them. Uh, if we look at like just cameras, for instance, you can have a telephoto lens that will bring things so they look like you're a lot closer than you are. And, and sports photographers use telephoto lenses. Telephoto lens is a big advantage in sports photography, wildlife photography, any type of photography where you need to be far away from your subject, but you want it to look closer. But if you want to get more of a view, like for a landscape uh, or a real estate photo or something, you want a wide angle lens. So a telephoto lens will be a negative there in that situation. The same with a wide angle lens, a wide angle lens, which will let you see the whole picture in a landscape photograph or in a real estate photograph where you need to take the interiors of a house and you need a wider view. That can be a negative if you need to bring something close up like uh, you would in a sports photography or wildlife photography where you can't get that close to the subject. So always consider that, that, that although something has a big positive, there's always going to be negatives. And although something has a negative, they may have a positive to it. So you always want to use the positives to your advantage and you want to try to reduce the negatives. Although sometimes in some situations, even the negatives you can use to your advantage if you're creative. Now, there are other people who, who will be cautious about things and they will, they will say uh, things, they'll, they'll give you reasons why uh, you shouldn't do something or what you should be careful of. And sometimes those people are very valuable because they will make you uh, think about the negatives that are legitimate negatives and find ways around them and find ways to make your idea better. So those people you want to listen to, and sometimes you really want somebody who has the opposite view, but you want somebody who genuinely is looking at an opposite view, not somebody who is just there trying to stop things, just that they're trying to be negative. There's such a thing as a devil's advocate, which is somebody who just says, hey, well, yeah, this sounds good, but here's the, here's the other side of it. You always want to look at both sides, in other words, fairly. But stay away from people who are negative and tell you things are impossible. Because a lot of times, the only reason something is impossible or seems impossible is because people think it's impossible. So they've given up trying to do uh, whatever it is and, or they give up trying to solve the problem because they think, well, it's an unsolvable problem. With creativity, you can solve pretty much any problem. Uh, and uh, even though we, we may not be able to solve a problem today, tomorrow there'll be new information, new techniques, new things, and we'll be able to solve it tomorrow. So we always got to keep on trying to solve those problems. So don't uh, just because something hasn't been done in the past doesn't mean it can't be done now or in the future because things change. So always keep that in mind. So nothing is impossible. Just think nothing is impossible and don't let anybody tell you something is impossible. And finally, there's one person you've got to be very, very careful of telling you something is not possible or is impossible. And that's yourself, really, because we all at times think something's impossible because of our past experiences or what we believe to be true. And uh, sometimes those past experiences uh, were a legitimate reason. 
but things have changed over time, like I said, and the situation has changed. So just because you fail once at something doesn't mean you're not going to succeed in the future. You need to look at why you failed and see if that reason is still legitimate or that circumstance is still legitimate or if there are ways around it. So just to sum it all up, never let anyone tell you it's impossible, even yourself, and identify the people who are looking for reasons not to do things, just just to find reasons not to do them. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. Whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.